Pretty Errors. It's on my list for must-have Python modules. It can take a stack dump that looks like this, and make it look like this. Installation and setup is easy. First do a pip install Pretty Errors. After Pretty Errors is installed, you can import it into any of your projects. However, it's preferred to add Pretty Errors to your Python startup procedure so it's available to you whenever you use Python and not just when you import it. This is really simple to do. Just call the module by typing python-m pretty errors into a terminal. This will initiate a setup script. For myself, I just accepted all the setup defaults and pretty errors was ready to go. The default look of pretty errors is great, but it's also fully customizable, allowing users to change things like separators, timestamps, and colors. Pretty errors also has a lot of features. One of my favorites is a function that allows you to filter out entire libraries from generating errors. Here's an example of how easy it is to change the color formatting of your errors. If you want to learn more about how to customize pretty errors, I've left a link to the GitHub in the description below. This project was created by someone in the Python community, so make sure to show some love and star or sponsor the project if you can. Anyways, that's it for this video. I hope you found it helpful. If you want to learn more about Python, then you should check out my top Python modules playlist. If you like this module, then you're going to love the ones I listed in there. One module that I always highly recommend is Rich, so I recommend that you check out my video on Rich as well. Anyways, thanks again for watching, leave a comment below, and I'll see you guys in the next video.